Hello, 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 and welcome back to Kritoa TV. If this is your first time at the channel, please do take a look at the other videos, like them, and subscribe to the channel. As most of you know, this is almost a year after the last time I posted a video on YouTube, and so much has happened in the meantime. Um, I lost my dad in June 2020, and that is the reason why I took a hiatus off social media and especially uploading and creating videos for YouTube. Um, I was dealing with the death of my father in very unhealthy ways. Um, I picked up weird coping mechanisms, and it was just detrimental to my health. Um, it was so detrimental, it, kept, it got to a point where I no longer saw reason to keep on living and um, that is definitely against what my father would have wanted for me. So I went through my master's dissertation and I remembered that there was a time that I was attending a grieving ceremony and um, funeral services of a Khoisan person who had passed on. Um, he had committed suicide and um, everyone in the community felt that it was a wasted life and that it was unnecessary for him to do such. Um, and this is why I um, picked up the master's dissertation because I needed uh, the lessons that I learned from there to actually help me get through dealing with loss. And when I was at the ceremony, most of the time and all of the time actually, all of the attention was spent and given on those that the deceased have left behind. So the family members, the wife, the kids, and everyone that was close to this person. And the, the leader kept um, putting emphasis on telling the family to stand up, let the community have a look at them and see how full of sorrow they are and how saddened they are by this act. And... Um, for an outsider, this might seem different or it might seem harsh because they were telling the truth. They were talking the truth about the deceased. They were saying how he could have lived his life better, how he should have just reached out and how how it has affected those that have stayed behind. Um, for me, the lesson here is that the focus should be on the living and we should continue to live our lives as best as we can even though we are living with sorrow and we are living with this missing place in our hearts of the the loved one that has just passed on um so yeah that is where what i've been dedicating most of my time to to self-awareness self-improvement and self-help um in in the 12 months i I started looking at um, what it means for me to be Khoisan and what it means for me to be alive and live a meaningful life. And um, this pandemic has not made it um, any easier because uh, I'm suffering through something I call coviditis. I uh, read somewhere that um, it's this, it's the adverse effect of living through a pandemic. It's the constant, um, erratic emotions that you're going through then you're angry then you're depressed then you're sad then you're happy and they are all to the extremes and um, something that normally wouldn't irritate me is starting to irritate me I get angry more often and I'm sure a lot of you are also experiencing this and I've been talking to friends and they have also been experiencing this so in that regard, I can all I can do is ask everyone to be kinder and to be nicer to one another because we're all living through a pandemic simultaneously while trying to figure out who we are as people in this country, in this universe, just who we are. Um, yeah, that's it from my side. I just want to wish you guys to be kinder to one another and if you're going through loss um, due to this pandemic if COVID has taken um, any one of your family members please 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 the best thing to do is focus on yourself and focus on living or focus on continuing to live without this person in your life because I understand that we get so wrapped up in our emotions that we do not see the good in anything anymore but all I want to do is say um, Remember the way 
or this is the way the Khoisan people experience death, is that they focus on those that are left behind. So the community focuses on those that are left behind and those that are left behind focus on themselves. And this is what I want for you guys, to focus on yourself. Thank you for watching the video and continue to subs stay subscribing to the channel. And remember to be kind to one another. Thank you.